But how can you get involved? How can you begin to write articles which will be published on sites like these? Well, first you must have something interesting to say, something you want to communicate with readers. Assuming you have this, it's important in an article to attract people's attention and gain their interest. So put the main facts first, answering these questions. Who, why, when, how and where. Get those basic facts down to start with and get people interested. Then fill in the details in the rest of the article. The best model is really shaped like a pyramid. You put the most important facts at the top of the article and lots of smaller details down below. Remember, you want people to keep reading, so you need to hold your reader's interest. A really good technique for doing that is to put in quotations from people who are part of the story, what they really said. You know the sort of thing. Uh, Tanya, mother of two, said, It all happens so quickly that we didn't have time to react. Quotations bring the article alive. Once you've written your article, go over it again to make sure that any figures you quote are correct. Make sure that Tanya really has two children and not one or three. Then, after that, once you've got your ideas down, rewrite your article, making sure that your paragraphs don't contain more than three sentences. People like them to be brief and to the point, and this will help to hold their attention. And another thing to bear in mind, if they're reading online, people will soon stop reading your piece and start reading something else. So keep the whole article brief. Don't put in a conclusion. Just let your article end without it. Another good piece of advice is to remember that old cliché which we've all heard, that a picture is worth a thousand words. It's true, so if you can, include a picture. It'll attract more attention and illustrate what you've been saying. Finally, you need to write a headline. Something eye-catching which will get people to just skim the article to start with, and then, if it's well written, they'll read it more carefully afterwards.